Hi, I'm Rhonda Friend. I'm your health and human science educator here in Fayette County, and this is the Extension Kitchen. Uh, today we have Heather Howard with us. Hit it. Extension Kitchen, what you fixing? <laughs> well, that was going to be our theme song, but I can't sing it, so I don't know. Uh, well, today we're going to talk a little bit about nutrition and recovery. Um, and I think that's an important topic, don't you? Heather was my intern from Ivy Tech last semester uh, when I met her and saw what a passion that she has uh, for people in recovery. And uh, she had started working on, I don't think she ever got it done, but uh, she did start working on a little, uh, what was it, like a notebook with lessons that you a could A nutrition teach. and recovery curriculum, but Very it's okay that I didn't finish it during my internship because now we have Derek Jones from Jonesy's Restaurant on board, and he's going to help me make it so much better than I could have mm -hmm. done by myself. And a lot of your practicum really was delivering uh, physical activity, kind of activities with the girls at House of Ruth. Yes, ma'am. And doing nutrition classes with them. And I felt like you had a really fun, really good, successful, even during COVID, a good practicum. It was a great semester. Got to get out and walk with the girls, spend time yep. with the girls, did yep. some cooking with the girls. Did you get their t-shirts? Got their t-shirts. Fantastic. So we are, so the Purdue Extension program, we have uh, one called Get Walking. And it's, uh, I forget how many weeks it is now. but Twelve. It's, 12 weeks and it's email based and I'll send you an email. I'll be doing that program again here in a little bit. So you sign up with a simple email. So if you want to be a part of that, when we start that, you just send an email to rsfriend at purdue.edu. I'll get you signed up. And so they completed the program. Yes. And, uh, and the goal of that is just to remind us that all of us need 150 minutes a week of moderate to vigorous activity. Get it. Yeah, get it. <laughs> and if we could get up to walking five miles a day, so I can walk up my stairs now without uh, losing my breath. So I'm glad to see I you healing. I am still post COVID. So, so why? So she comes in my office. I say, "What are we going to fix? What are we going to fix? What are we going to fix for extension kitchen?" <laughs> and and you said what? You said chia, and I said. Chia what? And she goes, Chia. And I go, I have no idea what you're talking about. And she's like, you know, like Chia pet. So then I didn't know what you're talking about at all. But tell them what we're going to make today, what we're fixing today. We are fixing some Chia pudding. Um, super cha -cha -cha easy. Chia. Cha -cha -cha -cha. Cha -cha -cha. Yeah, <laughs> it's going to be super easy, super fast, super healthy because Chia is a superfood. So we love that. You get just a pack ton of all kinds of... A pack ton. A pack ton. A pack ton of uh, fiber and omega-3s and um, just yep. lots of stuff for and, very few calories. And this is what they look like, right? I had trouble finding them, but after I struggled and asked like three people at Kroger where they were, mm -hmm. now I see them everywhere. But uh, I found these in the bulk food section. I don't know why bulk food. So on the bottom of it, it's got a nutrition label. The USDA kind of helps people label things for nutrition. So look at here. A fourth of a cup has 150 calories. That's a lot of, that's four tablespoons. So how much chia pudding can we make with four tablespoons? I don't know because my <laughs> recipe only calls for two <laughs> tablespoons, okay. but it made like a, a really good size glass container. Okay. All right. And I brought vanilla almond milk. That's what you Yum. said you like to use. Yes. And we've got some different fruit. Uh, so chia seeds, what's really cool about them, did you know there is six carbs, grams of carbon here, but five is fiber. I did not know. So that means there's one net carb in here. And uh, I'm going to, so true confession, so I prepped some last night mm -hmm. so we can taste them in a little bit. I've never tasted chia pudding. 
Well, so you're love I made it. it not even knowing if I would like it. So I hope it's good. Um, it's certainly nutritious. So you could use any milk, right? Yes, you can. There are so many variations to this as far as the milk that you put in, the sweeteners that you use, or even your toppings. You can put on any fruit, any nut, coconut flakes, even dark chocolate chunks. Yeah, we so, should have brought that. I like we should some, have. I like me some dark chocolate chunks. So why do you have an interest in recovery and nutrition? Like how did, did it choose you? Did you choose it? Well, I, I suppose in the beginning I chose it when I chose to pick up and start using drugs. How old um, are you? 22. Yeah, and I, I spent a good solid decade in that pit, and then God pulled me out of that, and and then it kind of chose me. Okay. Um, I just, I have such a passion to see other people come out of that because I've realized there is so much more to life, and I, I can't speak for everyone, but for myself, I was so out there, I couldn't leave my house, let alone my bathroom, and it turns out there's like a whole world out there. There are places to go yeah. and people to meet and things yeah. to do, and I'm trying to do it all, yeah. and I want to do it healthy, yeah. and I mean, really You're just, just super excited and passionate. I, You're just like, mind blown, so. Yeah. Well, you did a lot of work, really, studying the type of nutrition that a person needs, like in early recovery, so mm -hmm. depending on their level of substance use disorder, um, they might have been to detox, a detox center. They might have done some kind of inpatient program. But when they're out, so when they get maybe to the House of Ruth or when they're in early recovery at home, you learn some things about how important nutrition, specific nutrition is. So why don't you share that with us? So a couple of the biggest things um, are your brain and your gut. And regardless of what drug you use, used. Um, or alcohol. Or alcohol, mm -hmm. absolutely. Um, it's gonna affect one of those two things, both mm -hmm. of those things. And your brain has like these little neural pathways, all these little yep. connectors. And like you're trying to do something or you wanna say something, your brain has to send a message from one end through all these little pathways to get to the other. Well, during drug addiction, those um, neural pathways get rewired and getting from the start to the end is a little more difficult. And in, you know, the healing of recovery, um, it's working itself back out and putting you back on healthy pathways. And chia seeds are great for the brain, so it helps with that healing. Um, really good for the gut as well. Mm -hmm. um, definitely there are all kinds of things and because we're cooking, I won't even mention all of the different ways your gut gets messed up during drug addiction. Um, but chia seeds are great for the healing. Um, they, they gel up in your intestines and kind of, they soothe and heal the lining well, in there. I so that. that's great. It's packed ton, packed ton <laughs> of fiber. <laughs> so um, a lot of the time there's some issues with movement in yeah. recovery. So yeah. all that fiber helps to just so, keep things rolling. So as with all humans though, in recovery or anyone else, we need really a half a plate of fruit and vegetable, every meal, five. Five a day, half your plate, uh, which is super hard. Uh, so if you cruise through McDonald's, you're gonna have a hard time hitting your five a day. Uh, so that's part of it, learning to eat really clean, um, nice fish like salmon and cod and things are really good. Why chia? What does chia even mean? Ch -ch 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 -chia? Let me tell you what okay, chia means. Ahead. In the old Mayan language, chia actually means strength. Oh. And Mayan warriors would actually eat some chia seeds before going into battle. Wow. And I think this is particularly cool because yeah. when you're coming out of addiction and into recovery, and I can tell you from experience, it is a battle. Yeah. So chia up. Chia up. That's our theme today. Chia up. Well, let's share our basic recipe. So um, so how do you do it? Just show us the basic thing. We've got milk. We've got some vanilla. Here's now, did you say you did four tablespoons for a cup? 
of milk? No, I did two, and then it didn't seem to quite set up when I checked it this morning, so I added another spoon, but I'm thinking now if you do two tablespoons per half cup, then yeah. is that what you do? Yes. And it makes a lot? Yeah, we can double it. Let's do Let's that. Let's do it. Do the math. Let's see if you can do <laughs> Can you do math? Yeah. You got a calculator? No. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Stop it. Okay, so one. So you just dump it in. Dumping it in. Dump it in there. You see what those look like? Now, so I tasted the chia pudding after I mixed it, and I'm telling you, I probably had three or four of those stuck in my teeth somewhere for mm -hmm. a while. Mm -hmm. That happens. But they get like um, a grape seed. Like the seeds in a grape kind of has that grape okay. kind of material around it, and they're kind of slightly slimy. That's what a chia seed kind of reminded me of. So how long does it take? A uh, couple hours, really, to set At up least just two right. Hours. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. So, so we're just going to pour, gonna that pour in. it in. You said you wanted a little vanilla in there. So. Yeah, probably. I mean, just barely a splash because okay. you said this is vanilla oh, yeah. almond milk. Yeah, it's unsweet almond. Oh, it's okay. almonds. Vanilla just almond milk. Just so a little splash. Not even measuring. Okay. So would you do you use the honey? Now, when I made mine, mm -hmm. I used pure maple syrup, because here's what you're gonna learn. We can use granulated sugar, and it spikes your blood sugar like crazy. So then it like zooms up, and then our body overreacts, trying to drive that blood sugar back down, but it'll make too much insulin, because you mm. just zoop your sugar, mm. and so then you go below baseline. So then your brain goes, ah, oh, we're starving. And so it drives your hunger, so then what do you do? You eat a little something, you jump back over that, and you get on this roller coaster all day. Yes, and be careful with the sugar anyway, especially mm -hmm. in recovery, mm -hmm. because that sugar, it hits the same reward center of the brain yep. that, you know, the drugs yep. hit. So when you take in yep. sugar, you know, your body's like, ooh, that feels yep. good, and then it increases your desire for the original drug. So yeah. if you can cut out sugar, um, absolutely. Triggers, tra cravings. Yeah. So I worked at Centerstone for a long time. Yeah. And I uh, was, I had uh, the women's group and the men's group. And the men, I didn't notice it so much, but those girls, which those girls are precious, right? They're yeah. struggling, they're getting it together, they're like being chia strong. Um, but they would come packing in a bag of candy and I'm like, y'all gotta cut that was out. Was it a like, packed ton of candy? It was a pack, <laughs> yeah, it was packed ton of candy. Okay, I'm gonna shake this now. All right, did you, are you gonna put some sweetener in there? I, I think I'll, I will wait. Okay, so go yeah. ahead. So I, show us how you do. Gosh, okay. can I stand over, like, way over here? Go ahead. It's, it's, it could be safe. <laughs> All right. Just shake Ch -ch it. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Nope, it's good. Don't All right. say that. <laughs> so I'm, I'm wearing a white shirt. So how long do you... Sh oh, oh. No! Yes! <laughs> so long it's do you done. Like, how do you know when it's shook up? When it, it starts to squirt out of the lid. Okay, gotcha. All right, so does that need a little sweetening? So here's what's good about natural sugar. Uh, so you could, I'm going to show them how to make a banana chia pudding. Uh, so the banana is going to be the only sweetening in there. That When I said it like that, it reminded me of my granny. She used to say, you want a little sweetening with that? And, and she meant honey, or she meant molasses, or sorghum, or jelly, or jam, preserves, a little sweetening. Yeah. So do you want a little sweetening with that? <laughs> Go ahead. I know you want to put it in All now. Right. It's going to so wait until it's set. So but. I tried mm -hmm. uh, maple honey syrup. Girl. You want to try honey. Now, what's good about honey, it has just a little bit more calorie than a what? Okay, teaspoon. Of we sugar. don't measure anything around here. Okay, so what that looked like, maybe a teaspoon or two. Um, so it has a little bit more calories, but it won't spike your blood sugar quite like just plain old processed sugar does. Did you know that? You're I didn't know. Stir that. Okay. <laughs> and maple syrup is kind of the same way. Uh, calorie wise, it's like the same. But it's it goes a long way, like a little bit adds such flavor that you yeah. don't have to do like just tons of, you know, your regular sugar. So and I totally suggest all natural, unfiltered, raw honey. Okay. If you've got it. 
Okay. But choose what you've got. So, so how do you know that's good and stirred up? I, just, I feel I feel good about it. <laughs> you feel good about yeah. it. All right. So this has some water in it. All right. So to make the banana version, now this this is fun. So you just drop a banana in there. Like how hard is that, right? Easy peasy. <laughs> Easy peasy. So how much should I use of this? So if I make, so let's go with the cup. So we're going to use a cup of this almond milk. Now it has a nutrition label. You're going to hear me talk about that a lot. Did you know a cup of almond milk is only 30 calories? I didn't know. It's true. So uh, like whole milk, a cup of that's like 150 calories. So think, think what a savings. Um, there's only one gram of carbon here and only one gram of protein. So if you're trying to use a, a, prod, a milk like or milk product, that to add your uh, to the protein because I think people in recovery need a lot of protein, don't they? Um, this is probably not the best protein milk, but so I'm going to measure one cup. Do you like almond milk? Do you ever drink it? I do. It? Yes. Okay. I don't like to drink it. So you're just going to pour that in there like that. Shloop. Right in. Where'd the vanilla go? All right, now my recipe called for a half a teaspoon. So, and I'm not gonna like shake shake it up like you did. So I'm just gonna measure a half a teaspoon Are right you scared? in there. I'm, you know what I'm afraid of? That I'm, I didn't test this one out. Mm -hmm. And so I'm super nervous that it's gonna like spray everywhere. And then, you know, they'll be laughing at right. us back in the control room. All right, so cover your ears, this is loud. So I'm just gonna, Make a smoothie, just like a smoothie, right? <laughs> what? <laughs> All right, now look, wasn't that easy? So it's the same, like I've, you know, I think I need a bowl like that. I'm gonna let you shake it. I'm just saying. Let me get you a bowl. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> All right. So, do you think I should put the chia seed in there first, probably? And you did four, right, for a cup. So, yeah. we've got a cup of milk and a banana. So, I, you think I should try six? Yes. <laughs> You're like, I don't know. Like, well, my husband likes his chia pudding a little thicker. So, he tends he? to add more seeds. Mm -hmm. All right. And we're just about out. We've about used a whole thing. So, I'm just going to measure a little bit. That's not All very right. bulk. I know, and I don't. I don't remember what it cost. Do you know what they cost? Okay, that's a no. <laughs> nope. All right, I'm just gonna pour it in there, and you're gonna do your thing. Okay. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Do you make smoothies? I love Sometimes. smoothies. You know what? I'm thinking you could probably add a scoop of, or two of protein powder. Mm-hmm. Blueberries. I mean, sky. Peanut are, butter. Peanut butter, PB2, like it's your right. sinless. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how much Hold you get it. on the floor this time. <laughs> okay. Do Here we it. go. Cha 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 cha. <laughs> All right. So. Okay. All right. So these would typically go in the fridge. Yes. Until they set up two hours. How mm -hmm. long can you leave it? A few days. Can you? So when is like the. Don't eat it after that. Like so we made a chocolate one. We just threw in like a little a couple tablespoons maybe of cocoa powder and it was fabulous and it was really good for a couple days. Yeah. I want to say it was the third or fourth day I pulled it out of the refrigerator. Yeah. It just kind of had like a, a dirt taste because chia seeds really are, they have an earthy flavor. Um, you know, when you put in vanilla and all that other stuff, it really kind of cuts that out. But there was something about the chocolate that just after a few days, it really, it brought it out instead of so the chocolate it. made it taste more like dirt? I don't, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Maybe it was to encourage you to, to eat less sugar and to stay away from that. Yeah, and again, this doesn't take a lot of sugar at no, all. No, no. Uh, a half, oh, I didn't put my maple syrup in there. Now what are we going to do? You're going to have to shake it again. <laughs> Girl, don't be afraid to shake it. Uh, I'm not doing it. I just, you know, it's hard for me to walk sometimes, so... All right, so uh, let's do a teaspoon of maple syrup. 
Ooh, you know what? That has spice on there for a while ago. We probably, we probably don't want to put like some chili powder in there, right? All right, so we're just going to measure a teaspoon. Look how beautiful that it's beautiful. is. It really is. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. That is fantastic. Now, look, all your little seeds are stuck to the lid. All right, do your thing. <laughs> now, I'd make sure that lid is on there. It's going to be a disaster. Cha cha cha. I wonder if this will be good, just a substitute for me having to go to the gym this afternoon. Yeah, that's, I, <laughs> I really worked the out hard making go, pudding. I shook some chia yeah. pudding. All right, so what, so how long have you been clean? Do you care? Uh, four years, a little over four years now. That's wonderful. That's an accomplishment. Yeah. Mm -hmm. What helps you stay in recovery? Definitely the Lord, first and yeah. foremost. Um, he's my everything. But I have an amazing husband, a wonderful daughter, and a very, um, just a fulfilling life. Yeah. You know, like I said, once I got out of the bathroom and out of the house and into, into the world and saw what all there was to do and different ways I could be involved and give back and, and acts of service and things like that, um, you know, I just, I stay busy and my heart is full in this life mm -hmm. and I have a purpose. Yeah. So, do you think that's missing for a lot of people that you know kind of start off uh, down that road in addiction? They experiment maybe when they're teenagers, and then by an adult, then they have developed a more serious problem. Is that part of it? Do you think just not having meaning, purpose? Absolutely. Not people don't feel like they have a purpose. They don't know who they are. They don't know what they need to be doing. And really, there's there is a lack of, of guidance in some places. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, so for you, your recommendation would be that when we've got to eat better, we got to get moving, we got to mm -hmm. surround ourselves with people that care about us. Oh, yeah, that whole people, places, and things situation. People, they tell you that. Like, that's legit. Change yeah. it up. Yeah, and then finding some way that you add the meaning to your life rather than somebody else add meaning to it, right? Finding things that feel purposeful to you. Yeah, well, it helps to not, everyone says you've got to focus on yourself. You've got to do this for yourself, and yeah. that's great. There is a little bit of truth to that, but in all honesty, you'll find your greatest purpose when you stop thinking about yourself and you start thinking about other people. Yeah, so it sounds like that really helped you. I'm proud of you. I'm glad that we crossed paths, actually. First time she came in my office, I kind of had this, oh, whoa. Because she was like, I'm here. What are we going to do? Didn't you? And I was like, I'm going to have a hard time maybe keeping her uh, busy. But we worked that out, and it was a lot of fun. This is awesome. All right. So let's, um, let's show them what we can do. So... You can take, that is really, that's sticking up fast. I don't even think mine is that thick from yesterday. I love ball jars. <laughs> do you know that? I do. I, I, I do. I love to can. I love to make salsa and put it in a ball jar. It's real pretty. <laughs> I just, I'll stand back and just look at my shelves full of jars of things I've grown. And so this is chia pudding in a little jar so I thought we could layer it so you want to put some fruit in here so this is mine see it need a it's beautiful thick it is so throw some let's see can you cut up uh, some strawberries and put in here so you think this would be a good grab and go breakfast absolutely if, so if maybe on Sunday night I made like one recipe would probably do four jars right then I could have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, or is it by Thursday? That's like... If it's not chocolate, you can do Thursday. Okay. So you can kind of make it ahead of time. Look how cute this is. Look how thick this is. This is the banana. I love it. That looks so... I don't know. This almost looks ready to eat, doesn't it? You're like, don't believe it. <laughs> do you think it's not ready? 
I mean, I, I usually do sneak a bite when I first get it into the container before okay. I put it in the fridge. But look how cute. That is adorable. It is adorable. All right, so let's go ahead and, and make some, and we'll leave the guys here at TV3 some to try in a couple hours. So I'll put some blueberries. Go ahead and dip that in there. So that would be, this is just a strawberry banana. This is a blueberry banana. And then, um, those look great. And then we got a little lid. Yes. So I will say uh, in my research uh, for this recipe, uh, I learned we really should not feed chia seed pudding to little kids, babies, because it's a choking hazard. I wouldn't have known. But I'm telling you, I had those, you know, they'll know. Make it, try it. Right. Blueberry. Yeah. Me. Okay, I'm gonna do blueberry in that one. Let's. Do you have any more strawberry? Cut? I will cut you some more strawberries. All right. So let's do a blueberry strawberry one. And then we're gonna try some. So this, look, mine didn't set up at all. <laughs> so this was a plain, I think. And this one. Now these I made yesterday and stuck them in the fridge so they're cold. So. Look, it kind of sealed itself. Now look at this, this one's blueberry. It's good. So we're gonna try it. I'll we're tell gonna... you another one you ought to try is mandarin orange. Ooh. Yeah, it's almost like a, yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it would be nice and tangy and whatever. It's good, okay. yes. Fabulous. And there's so many other things that you can do with, with chia, chia seeds. Yeah. What else, what can we do? You can put it in bread or crackers, you can do smoothies, oatmeal. So you put, like just put a spoon and go ahead and fill that I mean, just it. throw them in. And I'll tell you, when I was first in recovery, I had made up some ball mason jars, a um, couple tablespoons of chia yeah. seeds in there, and then smashed up a bunch of lemons and squeezed the lemon juice into the jar yeah. Yeah. and filled it up with water. And I'd get up and I would drink one first thing in the morning to start my day. And I really felt like refreshed and energized and... Well, if uh, warriors going off to war would chew chia seeds to get their strength on and energy, I could see yeah. that getting a day started. I'm gonna try it, I'm just gonna tell you. So I'm gonna try it. So you think we got enough to make one more here? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Do you I'm want just, some more No, strawberry? I think I'm just gonna put these blueberries in here. And then we're gonna try oh, it. My knife was upside down and I was <laughs> work that way. That's okay. Just so where do you around. go from here? Like, uh, so you finished your associate's degree? Yes, in human services. Mm -hmm. And gosh, that is the million dollar question that everyone continues to ask me. But like I said, I'm working on that curriculum with Derek Jones. Yeah. Um, I'm involved in the... We're going to have him on. Did you know that? We're... Yes. yes. Yes, I did. So... He's gonna show me how to use a knife and stuff, I think, so. Pretty important. Look how pretty. That's fabulous. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Whoa, whoa. Okay. All right, so there is our chia pudding. You wanna try, like I might not have done a good job, I don't know, so. I seriously haven't tried this. Now look, so this. That is really runny. Yeah. That looks thicker. Yeah, but so I don't know why. Why do you think it didn't set up so much? I wonder if it tastes good. So I'm gonna try it. Ready? Let's do it. Three, two, one. Mmm. It's still good though. I'll well, put my is... spoon back in the jar. <laughs> that whole jar belongs to me now. All right, is there anything else we need to say? Definitely, people in recovery, we got you. Right. Yes. Also, uh, we used to have a Celebrate Recovery in town. It's uh -huh. been a few years, mm -hmm. but Amy Hicks at the House of Ruth, she is working to start one back up. Okay. The actual Celebrate Recovery meetings will start in the fall at Growing Branches Church. Fantastic. But right now we have the leadership training about to start. So if anyone is interested in that, um, just call the House of Ruth and talk to Amy. We'd love okay. to have you. And Impact Youth Group out of Higher Praise Church is going to be operating out of the Horning Ministry Building behind Grandview, um, ages 5 to 20, every Saturday at Just 7. Just Higher Praise? Just come drop your kids off. Just come drop, <laughs> Just come drop them off. <laughs> All right. Well, 
I'm glad you could stop by Extension Kitchen. Right. What you fixing? If you want any recipes, pop me an email at rsfriend at purdue.edu. Until next time, take a step toward health one meal at a time.